guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Bucket Coding. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to spawn um, mobs that have armor and custom names. I know that in at least one past video I've shown you guys how to spawn mobs, and I uh, know that I've also shown you a lot of different things about adding armor, but we're just going to quickly put this together because it works just a little bit differently for mobs. So what we're going to do here is when the player joins, we're going to spawn um, a skeleton. We're going to name it Skelly, and it's going to have uh, some sort of piece of armor on it. So if you wanted, so if you had some kind of like a mini game and you wanted the um, entities that you spawn to have armor on them or a custom name, then this is how you would do it. So inside of the player join, we're going to go ahead and say skeleton. S is equal to e dot get player dot get world dot spawn. It's going to take in a location, which is going to be e dot get player dot get location, and then the class, so skeleton dot class. So we want to spawn a skeleton, so we're giving it the skeleton class, and then this will return an instance of skeleton, and then we can actually do stuff with it. If you take a look at S dot, you'll notice that there are actually a lot of things that you can do because remember this does uh, inherit from entity so and living entity as well so uh, you can do a lot of different things as far as you know damage and getting and setting different information but what we want to do is first um, the set custom name option we can uh, go ahead and give it a name Make sure that you also do uh, set custom name visible to true so that it will show up. And here we're setting the custom name to be Skelly. That's actually inside of, um, that I believe is inside of living entity. So it's not just unique to skeletons. And I probably have shown that before. But what we want to do is if you take a look at this, um, get equipment, which returns a type of entity equipment, and you take a look, it sort of, it looks very similar to the inventory class in that it contains um, a lot of these same methods as far as, uh, you know, the helmet, the, uh, excuse me, the different inventory or uh, armor choices. And then there's also, you can change the item in their hand. So let's say we want to spawn one, and we're going to set the chest plate to be a new item stack uh, material dot uh, dime diamond chest plate and we'll put one now one other interesting thing that you can do inside of here is um, if you see set chest plate drop chance you can actually change the chance of the chest plate being dropped now I'm not sure if this is uh, I believe that this would probably go from zero to one so let's just try setting it to one which should pretty much force it to be dropped so if you want to uh, change what they have and what they uh, have a chance of dropping you can also um, set the item in their hand because they can they don't actually have an inventory where you can add items to them but they do have one item in their hand so let's give uh, let's give them uh, two baked potatoes in their hand and it's pretty much all for this this is just a really quick video but uh, in case you didn't know the specific method or one specific thing to do then this is of course how you would do it so let's just go ahead and make sure that this works so we'll head on over to minecraft and we will connect to the server and as you can see we have now spawned this um... let's probably make it night we have now spawned it's already on fire this skeleton named skelly with a uh... diamond chest plate and it is holding some baked potatoes and now if we kill it you'll see that it has in fact dropped a diamond chest plate we set the drop chance to be one and that goes from zero to one with one being a hundred percent of the time and zero being none and it does of course support decimals so 0.5 would be fifty percent of the time and then of course it dropped the bone like it usually would so that's all for this video it's just a really really quick video i just wanted to Make sure that I covered this because I had it on my list, so I'm guessing um, someone probably requested it or I just needed to get to it. Uh, it's just, you know, changing the uh, armor on entities in case you did not already know 
how to do this. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Please keep the uh, ideas coming. I have a lot of cool things coming up, but I do, of course, always need your ideas, and um, especially the ones that are like short, quick videos, kind of like this, but maybe a little bit longer. Uh, there are there's sometimes when I'm really busy for a couple days, and I don't want to leave you guys, but I don't have that much time. So just a quick video uh, is always cool if you have something that you want to learn or review that is pretty easy. But of course, all the long stuff is great, and I'm probably going to begin doing some more mini-series. Uh, so, uh, if you like this video, click the like button, and I will see you guys soon with some more substantial uh, videos with some more interesting topics. Alright, bye guys.